Try, 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 what's the word, try, bitch, j -Lo. and I'm back outside with another reaction vibe, and I know a lot of y'all been waiting on Quando Rondo to speak on Lil Durk allegedly being in the feds for murder for hire for killing his cousin in the whole situation with him and King Von in the Atlanta nightclub probably like two years ago. We're going to check this video out, try, it's live right now, we're going to top right in to the point that we could get to, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, it's a vibe, we outside. All right, try. Let's see what Quando talking about on this fair situation. Yeah. Like that, just being real. I, I survival. What do you? I'm, I'm asking this as a devil's advocate. So, so huh? I'm I'm asking this in a devil's huh? advocate. Man, bro, I don't want to. I ain't gonna lie. I promise you, for you even just saying the devil name, I want to just take these microphones <laughs> off and walk out that door. No, hold on, hold on. Boy, no, hold on. Hey, I can't let you slide with that. No, no, no. This some devilish shit. No, no, it's not devil. No, no, no. <laughs> the devil name in it, buddy. No, no, no. No, no. Boy, I'm serious. All right, no, no, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. Gotta you got to take that back. All right, I'll take it back, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. Boy, no, no, I'm, I'm, cancel that. Like, take I'm, that I'm, back to I'm, hell. I'm perspective. This is not my perspective. So I'm asking you this, um, but I don't, I don't want you to think that this is how I think because I don't think like this, right? Some people would say, well, man, like even past situations, it'd be like, yo, you know, as you even mentioned being incarcerated and, you saying, yo, you, you gotta, you gotta be a man in every situation. Some people might be like, yo, well, certain other situations happen how it happened because he couldn't take an ass whooping or he couldn't fight or whatever the case is. Damn. How do you process that? Man, I don't want that, bro. I don't want that. Hey, I already told you, bet, bro. I and I, I didn't. I never knew it was a problem. A nigga didn't pull up for that. To be honest, I was in a car sleep. Didn't even know, like, I didn't know that other artists was going to be there. Nothing like that. That's wild, child. Like he said, I ain't know. None of this was finna go on, bro. None of that. And dude tired of talking about this shit, bro. You could tell he tired of talking about this shit. He probably asked him nothing about his music or nothing. I knew I was going to the club for sure. That was our plan. Was, wait, so, so there was rumors that I was supposed to meet up there? Hell no. Hell no. Never? No. It just is one of them nights where what club popping the most down here? Yeah. And that so happened to be the club. And I was why were, in, why were you in Atlanta, though? I lived in Atlanta. You did? Why well, I lived in Atlanta for like... Because I go, like, we're in Savannah, by the way, right now. Like, this is uh, three, three and a half hours away, four hours. Yeah, three and a um, half But you I ain't gonna cap. I thought he still stayed in Savannah. You hear me? The way his videos and shit be. I thought, I'm thinking he down there in Savannah with his people. Like, what you doing in Atlanta? I lived in Atlanta. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I ain't no either. I only been to Atlanta. If the three rapper times. from Georgia blow up, yeah, where yeah. else they gonna move there? That's another and question I was I gonna ask you. Let you know Go ahead. Like I don't like man, bro. I just peep you. You funny, boy. You funny. I peep you. Oh God, I don't mean <laughs> that in a bad way, but you gotta get a little bit more smoother. The way you stick and sneak shit in. Oh, no, no, I'm, no, no, huh. no, I'm always gonna ask. <laughs> it's not even, it might, yeah, it might be you, smooth. You be at, at no, no, no. I've been dealing with the last three No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to slide it in, pause. I'm gonna ask. <laughs> I'm, you know, hold on. Keep saying some pause ass shit, talking uh, about pause. Fly, did he should go there. I gotta say pause. Like, like, I don't say pause. No, no, wait, wait. Speaking of which, um, no, no, actually, I do wanna stay on that. Even though oh, one of my questions was, how do you make it out of Savannah? But I'm going to get to that later. Hey, what for the video that Paul shit just real quick? You can't say nothing that day, but you got to say Paul or no homo or no diddy or whatever. Like, this, the world is crazy. Um, Pause. Okay, but but even with that, yeah, no, no, I was de definitely trying to ask that. But I'm like, all right. Oh, I, I, I never knew. I never knew you were in, in Atlanta. You were, you were living there in that vicinity. Because, you, you, again... A lot of what you have to assume, assume this with me. I'm tapped in, but also 
I'm, I'm also like fan tapped in unless I know some shit. Now I be knowing some shit, but sometimes I don't know everything. Hmm. So when I'm like, I'm like, because I know how I move around. For me as somebody I don't know or I don't like or we have issues, let's say we're not really into, well, for us to land at the same spot, there's, a, there's like a five, 10% chance, but it's not likely. Right. Right? Sure. And especially if I'm not from there. Like for example, I go to Houston. I go to Houston, I don't know who who got a, a positive um, a positive payment of me or who don't, but I try to. Okay, okay. If I if, yo, who gonna be here tonight? I I need to know these things because it's not even because I want to avoid things. Hmm. That's the best way to go. You know what I mean? I got my security here. I like when my security don't gotta do nothing. I like when we don't gotta do nothing, right? Yeah, so I like okay. to avoid things. So I think that's how most people move around. So th that's why I asked you, I, I never knew you were living in Atlanta. So I'm, I'm thinking, are right, you from Savannah? I'm not saying you're staying in Savannah all the time, but um, I never knew you were there. Nah, shit like this, crazy shit like this goes to show you, like you just said, you never knew I lived in Atlanta. If you being brutally honest, I'm honestly, that's crazy because sometimes people come up with their opinion on you because of a lot of unanswered questions. A lot of things left unanswered that they, like, who would have ever knew that something that simple, like, you didn't know I live in Atlanta. But in my eyes, it seemed like, damn, you should know that I'm from Georgia. If I blow up and make it and rap it in any city in Georgia, of course I'm going to expand and move to Atlanta. Yeah, not necessarily, though, Laquan, though. You could have went to L.A. You could have went there. Well, I get where he going with it, though. You know what I'm saying? He from Savannah, Atlanta, like three hours away, so why not go to the bigger city? But at the same time, you could have went to Houston. You could have went to Miami, L.A. You know what I'm saying? You got people from... Not feeling Though. Way across the country. Everybody go to Atlanta. Want to move to right. the A, and I'm right down the street. Yeah, that's true. The only reason, and, and I mean this honestly, the only reason why I say that to you is because I felt to this day, even, even me sitting with you right now, I feel like I know a lot less about what you were on, what you were into, or where you were at during that time. I know a lot about everything else. You know what I want to ask you? Thank you. Go ahead, bro. I'm here to answer. <laughs> I'm here to answer. I made out of conversation. I'm glad you took a shot with me, man. Hey, we good now. Man, I've been a nerd in college. I got an answer. No, no, no I definitely did. <laughs> you got an answer. I got an answer. No, I definitely did have an answer. Go ahead. <laughs> he in the principal office, ratting all kind of shit. That's not right. Yeah, no, no, we not ratting. We just, we just getting our degree. <laughs> Straight up. Come on. I like that. Civilians, come on. A civilian, civilian game. Now nah, you're not there yet. You're not there. Hold on, we ain't certified you as a civilian. You, you like half street, half civilian. We, we got to get you a little bit further on. I bet, 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 <laughs> bet. I'm gonna come holler at you so I can get put down. Now. Exactly. All See. Right. For sure, for sure. For but sure. ask me the question. What you at, bro? You don't ever think about I. Right. The 9-11, the 9 terrorist attack. Hmm. How long ago that was? 23? 23 years ago, so you got it. All right. Just say Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein, whoever, whoever, whoever. They allegedly did that, right? Right. If they came in here right now, would you ask them about that? If Saddam and and um Atwood. and um Osama Osama came in here, yeah. If they were alive, they did. <laughs> but if it, they were alive, I wouldn't be in the same room with them niggas. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> like, I would just be like, yo. I'm if you could have got on a phone call with them, would you? If I would ask them if they did what people accuse them of doing, you would ask them that. On the phone call, yeah. <laughs> because I I would want to see what it what it what it what they stand on things. Because I, here's the thing, if right the now phone. they put me on with Kim Jong Un, I would be like, yo, 
You, you really want all, all Americans to die? I really just fucked up. You know why? Why? I really stopped myself from asking what I wanted to ask because I just realized, like, you know what? That's a whole nother scenario. Of course people are going to constantly ask them why the fuck you did that. Yeah. yeah. So I used the wrong scenario. But long story, this is why I used the wrong scenario because I wanted to get to when do people let shit go. But even me, and I was one years old in 2001, I ain't let that shit go. You feel me? Because you feel me, nigga, this America, and you know, that shit, people lost their life and shit. But what yeah, I'm shit. saying right. is this. Hey, bro, when is it the perfect time to let shit go? That is a good point. You know, I've thought about that because I heard you mention that before. And Ten years of me and you do another interview, <laughs> you're going to rerun the same That's cap. questions. Cap. I, I, how does it cap and I'm asking? No, no, well, 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 I know you're asking. We wouldn't. I'm going to tell you how we wouldn't, right? That's a good-ass question, though. You hear me? Like, when do we let shit go, though? Like, real shit, though. I know the shit just happened, like, woo 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 But in his eye, like, bro, when I, like... I knew you was getting to this shit, you know what I mean? Because you would expect some more bullshit to happen. No. I feel like a lot of times, y'all artists, y'all people who are involved in real situations, y'all expect when y'all sit with media members or anybody else for us to ignore it, but y'all didn't ignore it. Like, for, for example, I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm keep it on you. Of course. Yeah, well, well, I'm sitting here with you. So, I wouldn't talk about anything. But, like, I got to ask these questions. Did you drop a song called The Last Story? Hell no. And the other story. Who dropped that song? Never in my life dropped no song called Do you know somebody that dropped that song? Boy, on every day, homie, I got I don't know nothing about that. I know nobody, know nothing about that. Last story? <laughs> man, last story. It's the end of the story, Trap. Uh, well, I'll Google it. I don't know what he's talking about, though. He got Not it, you though. specifically. But <laughs> hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Not last story. End of story. Yeah. Oh. Brother on the ground, go pick your man's up. That right, we scream and sell the fish. should have never put his hands on. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Same I, thing. Like, Come on now. You trying to be funny. That nigga, I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't dropping no song called Last Story. Yeah. You asked me a question, I gave you a real okay. answer. So hey, that's that interrogation, my friend. He like, shit, you asked me to be specific. I'm being specific. You hear me, shit? Other than that, I ain't got nothing to say, but I don't know nothing about no Last Story. I don't know nothing. I ain't dropping no song called Last Story. Don't nobody around me know nothing about no Last Story or none of that. You hear me? Because it's called End of the Story. So put it like this. That situation happened. You know, the people going to say whatever they're going to say, whatever. When is you going to close the door and leave the situation alone? When the people involved with it leave it alone. And of course, when everything gets All right, resolved. I left it alone. When did you drop that song? <laughs> you see, that's why I'm like. <laughs> I'm laughing because you, you, you getting drunk in this. No, 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 no. I'm always on point. So you ain't always on point if you drone. Ooh. Facts. That's true too. I get that one. Yeah. I get that one. I All stay right. stressed. That one. But with my facts, I got what I came in for. <laughs> but, hold on. But I'm always on point with my facts. Put it like this. This is this is one of my problems I have with rap music, right? And 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 this is don't worry. You're not gonna be the frame. This you can pan to me only. The media, and I'm part of the media, do we at times happen to fan of flames? We probably do. Do the fans sometimes, their thirstiness for whatever fan of flames? We probably do, but we're not going to act like the artists don't. You get what I'm saying? If we're talking about whatever situation, that situation happened, you drop a song called End of Story. We're talking about, you know, again, this is just me talking, not you. I'm you know what's crazy? When I drop in the story, I'm because I don't even feel go like hearing all the motive of what you about to all say. All right, no, no, I want to hear you. When I drop, you know, 
remember earlier we were talking about how strong my intuition is and I said the way I think and I live spiritual shit so crazy. It's like shit don't even be on purpose with me. It That's be like it, that ain't true. Man, Mind I ain't on, even talking about that shit no more. No, 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 hold on. It's over with. Oh, God is over with, no, no. Good, bro. No, no, I get you. What I'm saying is that. Talk. What I'm saying is that what? when you drop that song, you like if, if I say something, all right, you know, I'm gonna just make something up. I'm gonna make something up. Say you got shot in your toe. And I made something like, yo, yo, niggas got nine toes now. Right? You never got shot in your toes. I'm just making I it up. I'm thinking it, I'm making it up. So so if I'm if I just say some shit um fuck? later on, say niggas got shot in their toe or something like that, right? You're big on energy, power of the tongue. People would be like, yo, you talking about Quando if he got shot in his toe before, right? That that's all I'm saying when it comes to the music, right? Because the music helps fans that. And it's not only you. It happens on both sides. Bro, what I'm telling you is... Fuck that shit. Bro, I swear to God, a lot of shit be happening in my life. And I don't even be thinking like that. But in this... End the story. Bro, end the story me, it's the end of the story. Like I wasn't talking about it no more. That's why I named that day. But you were referring to it, right? You still were referring to it. Nah, yeah, that, bro. You, you gotta think about how it go both sides. Like it's like it's, it's like a tennis court. It act sounded real, real police. You hear me? I ain't gonna even lie. Act your ass sounded real police. I know what you doing though. You just doing your job. But man, bro, you can tell on little bro face. He like man. Bro, what type of time? Act on, if, if, bro. If, you know what, bet, bro? At the end of the day, man, I ain't gonna lie, boy. That man, that man got kids and the mama that I know 100% love him. That's we, right. me, he, whoever on my side, they got kids and the mama that 100% love him. And at the end of the day, bro, all this bullshit, we took shit that could have been handled a totally different way. It could have been handled to the point where a song and three, four million dollars could have came out the shit or whatever. I like agree. that could have got handled in a legit way, in a in a music way, also in a boss way. Even though, sad to say, I didn't know that a lot of shit was like it was. Cause you feel me? But Is that listen, bro, man, 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 bro. No, I no, no I'm, I'm, I'm asking you face to face. Like Hold on, I just want to ask you face to face because see, I've been trying my hardest not to get on this type <laughs> shit with you, but bet, bro. No, I, hey, I, hey, listen. I don't right think you lie to me. I don't think you lie to me. That's how I want to have. I'm just about to tell you some real shit, bet, bro, nigga. Grown as a fuck, bet, bro, nigga. Ain't I ain't got a lot to you, nigga. Grown man, bet, bro. What I'ma sit up here and lie to you for it on, bet, bro. When you ask me if something true, you make me feel like, bet, bro. Who you is the lie to? You can't mm. put me across your lap and spank me, mm. nigga. What I'm lying to you for? Mm. I'm not lying. I'm being honest. Uh, mm. I don't think you lie to me, but and like, and I ain't getting upset. I'm no, getting frustrated. No, I know, I know. Ooh. No, I, 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 I fact, Jack. I feel him though, bro. I ain't, I'm, I'm just keeping it G, bro. Maybe it's my mentality and the way I was raised and shit like that. He getting on that type of time. He was trying to keep it on like professional level. I see where he going with it, but it's like, bro, you steady, like. And then when I get to this point, motherfucker want to be look at him. He emotionally in his feelings. He mad. He this is in the third. It ain't even that, bro. But maybe you ain't hearing me, so let me. Uh, I don't think you, know you lie to me, but you a street dude. Like, no matter how you say... I, like this. Cool, I'm a street yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm for a you, street yo, For you to admit certain shit, it's not being street, right? Because... Huh? Everybody miss certain shit. No, no, for you to admit certain shit, it's not being street. For you to admit certain shit, me and you not being street. Like, if I'm a street nigga, I'm gonna be like, I don't know what. That's so street niggas must be loud all the time, cause the man. Yeah, that's the what I, Yo, I don't. Yo, listen. Street even if niggas you, lie to the law. Yo, yo, they lie to everybody. Yo, 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 play this. They, they bring the media to me right now. Yo, do you know who killed your man? I don't know what happened. I'm, I, I'm, I was just. You really know ben what happened? Bro. You ain't gonna tell them. Why you gonna tell them? Why the fuck is a out. nigga doing the police job? Okay, okay, that's what I'm saying. You're a street nigga still. How? Because a civilian, a civilian don't think about that. You still a street nigga, and, and you care about those codes, and it's cool. Like the only thing I realize, you you definitely you dropped your flag. It's cool, but you not you not <laughs> fully civilian yet. Hey, check this out. 
But bro, if you had a weak song, that nigga act tweak. Fuck memorials, break the cold ass nigga in here sitting right here listening to you, and he went out here and got in a situation and thought that, you know what? I said it was a civilian, so I ain't doing this. They went for that shit, boy. Bet, bro, I bet, bro. I ain't no street nigga, but I stand on what I stand on, brother. Okay, what's your moral code? Fuck the streets. What's, what's my morals? What's your morals, <laughs> and what do you abide by? Because I think that's what people. Because my morals is to be the best of the. the, the my morals is to be the best man I could be in this life, bro, and 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 to be able to handle anything that come to me in a orderly and fashion and manly and solid way. And take care of my family. And stay out the way. Dodge death in prison. Hmm. That's my morals. My morals is not... My morals is not to go against... Fuck with you. But bro, if I wanted to be a rat or a police-ass nigga or some shit... But you see, I'm sitting up here telling you, boy, I ain't trying to kill nobody. I'm not trying to go to jail. That should let you know one thing. I don't give a fuck with nobody think at this point. So if I wanted to be a nigga that be like, you know what, boy, I ain't going to lie, boy. Yeah, I'm about to turn, be on some academic shit. I'm about to start telling the police or something. If I nah, was somebody do something to me, I'm telling the All right, that's, that's cool. But we civilians. Listen, no, listen. we civilians. Hold on, we both. Right what I'm saying is this. <laughs> I don't want to be a civilian no more. If, if I wanted to be a police-ass nigga, yeah. you don't think I'd sit on this camera right now and say, I ain't going to lie, yeah, for no, I'm calling the police. Because I don't, I don't, I, I'm letting you know I don't care nobody think. All right, fuck what somebody else think, right or wrong. I think that it is wrong to tell on somebody. So therefore, I'm not doing that because I think it's wrong. That's just like, bet, bro, sticking your private part in another fucking man is wrong, nigga. I'm not doing that. Okay, that's a personal. Okay, I get what it. What you get mean? It. If it. this wrong, this is wrong and it's right here. That mean this wrong right here. They the fucking same. I ain't doing that. That's my morals. Mm -hmm. What you mean? It's, it's, it's plenty shit. I'm not, all right, you got them two wrongs right there. I'm not accepting no amount of money to give no address on a nigga I grew up with my whole fucking life. I don't care if it's a real life change of $10 million. I'm not doing that. That's going against my morals. That's going against what I think is wrong. Ooh. You might be like, that's $50 million. But I might be Ooh, like, I would well, do that. Fuck. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Ooh. I might be like, fuck that. This is my partner. Guess what I wrong go at? Why they with them? All right. That's three wrongs. I feel like wrongs. And and above them is the morals. Them can't go above them. So, right? But to you, you might have all three of them in your face and you trying to jug and balance with it. Not me. This is what the fuck I stand on and that's what the fuck you stand on. That's what I'm telling you. You tripping ain't got nothing to do with being no street nigga or none of that. If you know, you know. You hear me? I don't give a fuck how much money a motherfucker off me. I ain't dropping no location on my folks. You hear me? If you know, you know. This shit because it, the life as a man comes with with hey. self accountability and standing on and having morals hmm. and having goals, having a plan to accomplish a goal. Other than that, everything else Pacific Ocean, this shit watered down, cousin. Like you tripping. A street nigga has nothing to do with having morals. You went to where? Whatever type. College you went to? Rutgers. Man, nigga, I ain't never stepped in the seventh fucking grade, nigga. So, right? You went to this college, I'm pretty sure you did way more positive than I ever did in my life. So, right? And I'm pretty sure you have morals for yourself, DJ Academics, that you're not about to break. Right That's or wrong? That's right. All right? You have a moral. You know what one of your morals is? Prime example, to me it look flawed. You have a moral, if somebody try me, I'm gonna call the police, cause I want them to suffer. And, and guess what I'm over here saying? That's lame, that's wrong, but that's your moral.
Nigga, what the hell? That's what you stand on. Okay, I understand You that, tripping man. and you okay. not no street nigga. You a civilian, right? Went to college, did good all your life and all that, all that, right? All right. But, bro, that don't make you uh, less civilian or uh, more of a street dude because well, you... Well, no, no, all right, so, so, so you, I completely uh, agree with you. I guess the only thing I guess people watching this would say... So if, you know, again, I would go to the cops. If you wouldn't go to the cops... How do you deal with people who do you wrong then? Man, sometimes you got to let the earth deal with people, bro. Karma. Man. That, bro, sometimes you can do so much wrong in life and God just walk you through this garden and you stand right there because the devil come pretty. The whole garden might be dead and you see one red rose and you say that's pretty. You reach down and touch it, the root that came up right around your hand and blown you down. You tripping, bro. You gotta let the earth handle shit. What you think we put on this earth for? Ain't we no put on this earth to destroy it. We put on this earth to let the earth keep earth, to let the earth keep earthing, nigga. Fuck you talking about. And the whole time I'm watching this shit live, you hear me, Travis, and I'm looking at the comments, all you see is slide for pal, slide for pal, slide for pal. Like, bro, that's crash dummy shit, bro. You got to let the, hey, he telling you right here, Travis. The earth, Mother Nature, let all that God, Jesus Christ, nigga, God don't want you to get revenge. You tripping, that's for him. That's hmm. for him to do. Hmm. Brother, I tell you what, boy, when I do turn... Quincy Jones just died at 91. God bless the dead. So, yo, right? 90, yo I'm, uh, first of all, I think we all want to live to 90. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, cool. We going to, me and you, we going to. <laughs> Stop saying. I'm nerd. Bro, Wait, right here. <laughs> yeah. Listen, bro, Quincy Jones, bro. Never shake a man with the left hand. I live to 91, right. so right? And he do something that all us got a profession in. Looking at the music. Dude, yes. All right. Brother, when I'm 91 and I'm like him, walking across that whatever, whatever, to go talk to the, the higher power of law, whatever you, you damn me, I'm believing, when I'm up in general, which is heaven, at least I'm gonna be able to, this is what people don't be realizing. You know you have to go explain to God everything that you did and why you did it, even though he already know. As soon as you say, well, I'm explaining all that, you already, your ass already in the hell fire because he knew you was about to say that. I promise you I got a logic and good explanation for everything I did. And just for me thinking like this, he going to already tell me when I turn number 91. Hey, you welcome. Come on, now. That's how it go, brother. Let I I ain't gonna lie, fuck with somebody out here think if me killing you gonna satisfy them, I'm dumb. Fuck all that. Cause at right. the end of the day, boy, I ain't gonna lie. People be acting like people be whining around here wondering people be around here worrying about getting judged and all that when you ass it, you ain't even worrying about the real judge. Would you would you ever G-O-D, try the high power. You hear me? Motherfuckers ain't even worried about the real judge. He's saying something, Trav. I'm just saying, though. You're... Testify against anybody. Man, what? Bit, bro. What do you say about that? I was just asking you that. That's how it go, brother. Let, I, I ain't gonna lie. Fuck with somebody out here think if me killing you gonna satisfy them, I'm dumb. Fuck all that. Because at the end of the day, Boy, I ain't gonna lie. People be acting like people be whining around here wondering. People be around here worrying about getting judged and all that. When you ask it, you ain't even worrying about the real judge. Would you Would you ever testify against anybody? Man, bet, bro. I'm just I I'm just asking you to ask. Like I feel like I know your answer already. Man, I ain't trying to do shit but believe in God and shame the devil, my nigga. <laughs> All that other shit, I ain't bit, bro. You bit, bro. Man, I ain't with like none of that shit. And I ain't gonna lie, I don't like that you on here asking me about this shit because it seemed like when y'all get to asking shit like this, no, shit like this go to plan out and happening and clips like this go to rewinding. No, no, I, so I, I, I only ask you, like I only right ask you that nobody hey, could bring it up boy, and listen, say that they don't know. I don't like that you just broke 
hung up in every negative thing that I didn't like that I feel like could be a sort of line bad luck curse type thing, guess what, boy, I cancel that and send that back to the pits of the hellfire. None of that's gonna happen to me. All oh, that's rebuke. That shit gone off me. You tripping. You, how do you? I ain't, yo, you hey, ain't tripping. How do you, how do you inspire, you know, again, Let's get back to it. I ain't gonna you lie, he coming reason, with right? it though. He coming with them ounces, bro. You hear me? I ain't gonna lie to you, Trav. On this interview, he planned how it supposed to go. I'm nigga. This the main reason I'm here for a reason. I, we just probably needed to do this. Now nah, you here for? Keep playing. You hear me? Keep people are watching you. People have probably made their own mistakes. They've seen you, and they say, "Damn, they're looking for a message in this." That's the that's the message right there. You see, I'm um, acting towards everything, and I ain't got no shame in my game. I don't want to be a part of no bullshit. <laughs> you, I'm straight. I mean, if a problem come to me, like I said earlier, I'm gonna handle it and protect myself and protect whoever around me that I love for sure. That, and I'm pretty sure the biggest FBI agent that really live for the law gonna do that for his for him and his. As you should. You hear me? So, with me saying that is, you got people who work for the law. If a problem occurred to them in any type of way, they're going to protect them and they found them or whatever like that. So, I, I this is the message. You see how uh, acting young niggas, uh, YNs or whatever these little niggas call it so nowadays, there's nothing wrong with starting to act like this. If I motivate anybody out here in the trenches if i got if it because 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 it's a lot of young i was young before i used to look up there god bless the dead rich homie corn i wanted to be like Damn, him so right rich I, homie, I, homie, check this out though For sure. check, check this out though just like i used to look up to him i know 100 percent is thousands of young niggas out there look up to me and, and it's thousands of niggas out there young niggas out there that wants to move how I move. So if I got anybody out there who looking out, this is the this is one message for here for a reason. If I got any young nigga out there looking up to me, it is cool to go to school. It is cool to do the right thing. If I can start over right now, boy, I promise you, boy, I go through six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, to all that just to walk across the stage and get a diploma, even though I know that shit. No, nah, I ain't even gonna say that, cause I'm, you feel me? But, bro, you see how I'm acting? I don't want no problems, I don't want no smoke. It's cool to say I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. It's cool to say I'm scared to die. I'm scared to go to jail, cause in two years my bitch gonna be fucking my homeboy, and, and right. my homeboy gonna be stealing out my car, and right. it's cool to say, Boy, boy, my uncle ain't gonna answer the phone no more, and it's gonna be days mind. I can't make the store because everybody that told me they was gonna send me a hundred dollars ain't son. Boy, fuck all that, boy. It is cool to say you scared of that lifestyle, boy. Especially if you not living and done some shit that you look around and see other niggas ain't doing, or they ain't on the same page. Damn, all this ain't on the same page. Well, guess what? Y'all can have this book. I'm in a whole nother book. Hmm. Y'all can have that little book. Y'all can have the whole title. You could be the author, the beginning, all that. Guess what, though? Y'all book only got 200 pages to it. The beginning and the end. My book is ever motherfucking last, and this shit ain't never coming to the end. You're and when it do line, come man. to the end, boy, it's, it was a happy ending. You boy, you, boy, fuck that. That's the message. The young niggas. It's 2024. The best thing to do out here nowadays is be a law abiding citizen. Right. And that with me saying that, that right. don't mean go tell on somebody. Okay, I, 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 I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, that mean, way, mean don't put yourself in a position to have to tell right. on somebody. You tripping. Like, come on, man. You 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 thinking about it. Listen, I know some shit to take you far, eh? But sometimes expand your mind. Ex look at a situation and really expand on it. Really, all right, elementary school, when they get on the, on, the, on the board, they might draw a circle and draw a line 
from right here, 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 and put different type of words or whatever on each one. And in the middle, I have one thing, but everything around it connect. So, right? Like, you might have disloyalty, a bubble, and disloyalty is right there. Draw one line, murder. Draw another line. They talking about like a pyramid. And be shit. disloyal back. Draw another like line. Type shit. Cut them off. Draw another line. Make them sad. Draw another line. Forgive him, but don't forget. But it's all going back to the same All tree. them got something to do with what's in that hey, bubble. Bro. You got to start looking at the best one to choose from. And out of everything that I just said, out of disloyalties in the bubble, and every, each line got murder, cross him back, hurt him, make him sad, steal from, from him, forgive him, but don't forget What's the best one to go with on there? Forgive. A smart man would pick forgive him and don't forget. If y'all don't understand the terminology, it's like a tree, right? That come from the roots. And the tree branch off the what? Different branches and shit, right? Leaves and all type of shit. All these different branches or different choices that you can make in life. And that one choice, at the end of the day, that better choice is on that branch too. But they all come back to the same tree branch though. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's basically what he's saying. And to answer that question, Forgive them and don't forget. Forgive them, but for don't, for, don't forget them. Forgive right. them, but don't forget. Right. The, all of me, look, you see how you could be in the same, forgive them, but don't forget is in the same atmosphere as the rest of them shits, and you ain't had to go with none of them. You could go at the right thing out here, boy. That's the message. And once you go with that, you gonna be here still. And you gonna be able to tell a story about the nigga who crossed him back. You gonna be able to tell a story about the nigga who murdered him. You are going to be able to still be here to tell the story about the person who hurt him. You are going to be able to tell the story about each and every one of them. You, cause you gonna be still here. You here for a reason. And the reason was to tell the story about all them that made all the wrong decisions just because of what happened in this bubble happened. And you know the most critical part about what I'm explaining to you? This is a bubble. This loyalty, the word is in there. The rest of them is lines. Hey, <coughs> lines, right? All them fall off after they do some dumb shit. You just made the right decision to still hold on and you still can't get in that bubble to get to that disloyalty word. That mean ain't really, it wasn't that serious. It's in the bubble. It's locked down in there. You going hard about some shit you can't even get to directly. Hmm. It, it, it's all about how you think, my nigga. I, I, as you explain that, man, that's... I get it. That epitomizes your perspective. It's a reason why I said you 25 sound like 45 because <laughs> you've learned a lot where usually people at 25 are still doing the dumb shit. <laughs> you know what would have been funny? I just thought about some funny you know, shit. What up? If you'd have been like, you know what's crazy? And I'd have been like, what if you would have been like, <laughs> that's the dumbest shit I no, ever no. heard. Nah, it's not dumb though. <laughs> I Which is know. crazy. No, 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 that, yo, it's that's what a lot of people probably saying though, you hear me? But I did, I real like to understand that shit, what he basically saying. It's not dumb because honestly, man, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, having you, man, having you say all this shit to me, my nigga, is like, you Bro, like, really yo, knew a yo, nigga yo. was like this. Well, here's the Basically thing. Here's the thing. If, if, I, if I showed up down in Savannah for the best interview ever, it would be the most ignorant version of you. Where you like, fuck this, fuck that, yeah, I blah, know. blah. But that's not what it is. But I'm happy because you know what? I see somebody who's not trying to go down the pitfalls of, okay, might have been a good interview. Maybe you turned up for this year or whatever, but then you get incarcerated or something happened to you. I'm actually facing some time. I go to sentence the next month. And the nah, only I reason I mentioned that is because I don't 
How do you think that's going to go? I don't know if you can talk about it, but how do you wish it could go? All right. I, I was talking to my cousin, Katara, so right? You can shut that door. Because I don't want no extra signs or nothing. And I'm drunk a little damn bit, man. Shit. That's crazy, bro. You got a sense of it. Hey, they're trying to go on anyways. I'm about to get in the studio. You, 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 you record every day? Yeah, hell yeah. Really? Hell yeah. Damn. Hell yeah. But look, I was talking to my cousin Katara, all right? And she actually told me earlier, she said, you need to tell people stuff like this. Like, start telling, saying stuff like Have this. Have you done therapy or no? I'm not saying you need to, I am the therapy. <laughs> okay. I could sit back and get therapy from my own mind. I could really sit back. I and feel like you and your man right here have have therapy. Just even the conversation y'all have, like where the level is at. I feel I like y'all probably. I feel like every. I feel like, and having friends, friendships with people. If you don't get something therapeutic out of a conversation with friends, at least once a day, every day. Cut them off, because damn, all you got mm. is negative shit going on. Mm. That's real shit, though. I agree. You feel me? I agree. I believe. He's saying something right there. That's why sometimes I be going through shit, try, and I be like, I sometimes I call people and vent and shit, but then a lot of times I be like, man, my foot don't want to hear that shit, try. People don't be wanting to hear all that negative shit all the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't. I ain't going to even lie. You're my foot. You be wanting to just, like, don't even answer Dude. your phone and shit. Speaking on the situation, how do I feel like going to go? Girl, I told, we went to talking about praying. I said, man, I said, when I pray, I said, when I pray, I don't ask for, I don't ask for what I exactly want. Because at the same time, we here on free will. I understand you got to have faith. And I don't want to. I don't ever want it to make it seem like I'm losing faith. So I don't, I don't never ask for what I fully want because if I ask for what I fully want, I'm gonna expect that to happen. But if I get a thought that man, this shit not gonna go like that, that means I'm not having faith. Now it's like I'm putting fucked up energy towards my prayer, and now I'm about to mix, and now it's really about to be a jug. It's about to be a a, a juggle. It's about, you feel me? So when I pray, like when I pray for that situation, my federal situation. That's when you feel like basically like questioning God and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Basically like, like down there want to stop believing them. Like now, why you ain't make this happen? Or why you let this happen? Or why this, this, and the third? You know what I'm saying? I always say, yeah, I could be saying, you feel me? Like y'all Allah, like I could make a dua and you feel me? Y'all Allah, man, don't, don't let me, man, don't let me, you feel me? Uh, dear God, a uh, 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 Buddha, or whoever somebody pray to, I'm just, I always do that because I know it's multiple religions, and you feel yeah. me? But in the most common religion that everybody understands, I could be saying this. I could be saying, boy, oh Father, boy, please God, when I when I go in, when I um, I ain't gonna lie. I really don't know how to play with a prayer without really doing like a real prayer. Are you scared? Scared of? No, nah, I ain't scared. But no, no, no. it's like not necessarily that, but like just what a judge could give you. Like they, right, they can listen, say anything. To you gotta listen. When I pray, I don't be. I, I ask God. All right, oh Father, I'm in this situation. You know. I'm a tough soldier, and they say you get the toughest battle to your strongest soldiers. So at the end of the day, it's still a blessing to me, even though it's a messed up situation, because it show me that I'm a strong individual because you're giving me a tough battle. Boy, oh, Father, when I walk in this courtroom, I ain't asking you to free me and just give me probation because I know it will seem like you just giving me what I want because I'm your child. And... It seemed like I went and learned. And with me making this prayer and me knowing you the God that you is, and you send blessings. Once people send prayers up, you send blessings down and you let me wag. It's like I ain't learned. So at this point, I want to learn, Father. I just ask you, if I can't walk out this courtroom today and be free, I just ask you, 
Whatever time that I catch, let it be some leniency from the judge, oh father, and let it be something so minimum by the snap of the finger and the blink of the eye, I'd be back out. I mean, I pray like that. Yeah. You feel me? Like, my nigga, and, and. Hey, man, it is. So, with that being said, I can't answer your, 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 your question, but it I is. do know. When I if I do do some time, you ain't about to hear about me like you hear about a lot of other rappers being in the feds and drrr, you go you know how rappers go to the feds and niggas come home and do interviews and talk about I promise you that's I feel like that's when people are gonna really notice and 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 that's when people are gonna really notice like damn boy it's to the point where we owe him respect because he gained it he earned it. If I if you if I earned something from you but you ain't gave it to me yet, but you planning to give it to me, but you didn't give it to me yet, that means you owe me. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's why all that's gonna fall in that when they be like, damn, this young nigga really on all ten. Yeah. Damn, this young nigga, this young nigga really ain't. No fucked up individual like individual like people think. Hmm. Damn boy, this young nigga really smart as hell. And this young nigga gonna stand up for anybody that look like they the weak getting preyed on. You feel me? I'm telling you that what that would boy. If I go to the Fed, if I had to do some time. Or whatever like that, I ain't wishing that. But you know how the feds go, man. It's, I, I, it's, it's, it's very, very, very rare that people catch a fed charge and don't do no time. It's very rare. It's very rare. They have a ninety-eight percent conviction rate for a reason. Just like I'm here for a reason, they have one for a reason. Yeah. I feel like anything that got. Have you mentally prepared for that? Like, yeah, who, who knows what they can say, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally prepared. I'm mentally prepared for sure. But the thing about having to go to, I never been to prison. I never been to. You've been incarcerated a bunch of times, right? You yeah, jail? it's different. Prison is different. Yeah. You, you can go to jail and, and the longest somebody that's in this jail that's in here with you probably been in here four years. Like, that's like a long county time, four years or something like that. So, right? But, but at the same time, you can go to the federal prison or a state prison and you be in here with niggas who really been locked up 50 years. True. 50. Hmm. I could call somebody right now on this phone, right now, who been locked up 20 years. Hmm. He could go past the phone to somebody been locked up 40 years. Hmm. And when you, I could do it right now for you. Want to see this shit? Nah, nah, I believe you. I believe you. And this is how you know they been locked up their whole damn life. They don't even look like they 30. You boy, sometimes you can scratch so hard you don't even get oh you you can <laughs> sometimes my nigga this is real like I said I oh, I, I live yeah, spiritually and when I say spiritually I don't want nobody to get to thinking I'm talking about like Christian Baptist or a or, or, or Muslim or nothing like that so right we gotta wrap it up after this but I. Spiritually is just like basically like seeing some shit, knowing shit, feeling shit, being really down to earth and shit. All right, with me saying that, I know this. Sometimes you can scratch so fucking hard you don't look old, you look younger. Okay. Damn, wait, that's wait, what? you cause. That's you a thing? Nah, it ain't, but it's the depending on the way you put it. You, go through a you lot, ain't never man, got in a situation and yeah. it turned you to a baby. <laughs> That's true too. Okay. All right. Them niggas who be having 40 years, who done did 40 years and they in prison, and you see them and they don't look like they did their time, you know why? Because they got their ass turned to a fucking baby. All right. 
That's how I look at shit. It probably don't make that don't make no sense, do it? No, it makes uh, sense to me though. It, it makes sense yeah. how you explained it. Like nigga, I just talked to a nigga that for, he's locked up still, been locked up 40 years. The man look younger than me. And that's the first thing that came to my mind. That's why I say, like, boy, a nigga down there attracted to this earth shit. Cause I'm like, boy. <laughs> I'm like, bit bro, and all, all my knowledge, man, you can ask self and him, fee, y'all know what all my, all my knowledge down there come from a joke. You ever notice that? Straight up. All my knowledge come from me making a joke. It's like that shit just flow out of nigga mouth and make the most sense. I'm like, boy, bit bro, you been locked up 40 years out of you, you is on 50 Sam nephew. Boy, oh, boy. I'm like, boy, um, boy, you been scratching so hard, boy. That shit turned you to a baby, boy. You do not look 50 sound. Then after that, I sat back and noticed. I'm like, damn, boy. Sometimes scratches could give you gray hair and make you look older than you're supposed to. But boy, when you it. got that lifeline, when you got that lifetime scratch, when you, listen, when, it's problems. This is how I look at problems, all right? Some problems be a couple minute problems. Like, all right, me and Act got into it, but you could pull around the corner, I pull around the corner, we could talk, yeah. squash it. That, that problem ended in 10 minutes. Uh, a problem, oh, I got five cars, I'm fucked up in the bank, all that, but shit, I can go around the corner to him and he give me 10 rights and I can go handle all this. I had a problem for three hours. But when you got a lifetime problem, like, it ain't no way to solve it. Like, life in fucking prison? Yeah. That's that scratch that turn you into a baby, boy, make you ball up, yeah. And you so much of a, when you think about dealing with a situation you really can't Fucking change. Mm -hmm. It's nothing you can do to change it, and you stuck every time, every day, and every night at a certain time. You going to sleep in a place where you stuck, and that'll never fucking change. You would never go to sleep sleeping next to no pussy. All us men who don't wake up <laughs> nine in the morning and want to hit their girl or who whatever girl they that's that's men. That's just natural <laughs> instinct. You rolling over and you got a jack for the next 40 more years. Yeah, that's, that's that bullshit. scratch that turn you to a baby. I don't mm. want to be no baby. I done became a grown man sense, for a reason. You feel me? Last question. Life goes on. Part of that song, you know, you acknowledge a lot of people you lost, a lot of situations. How do you ever look in the mirror and say, man, whether it's regret or whether you wish shit went the other way, but now you got to progress with life. How does life go on for you? You asking me, do that stuff bother me or just no, 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 how no, do no. I got, how did I get packed? What no, no. you really how, asking? How does life go on for you now? Despite after Tim killed King Von, just ask him, bro. Damn. Like. Despite what you've lost, despite what you've been through, you right now, you, you facing, you pr you facing some prison time. How does life go on for you and how do you choose to live it? Because that's what I think about when I, when I think about life goes on. You can tell me your You your know what I be thinking about? It's so many people begging and mock my words. Mark them. So many, it's so many people above me right now. And I'm talking about financially, mentally, music, all that wise. Way, way, way bigger than me, right? Something that keep me in the life go, gonna go on moment we might want to make life goes on a hashtag and use it the next 30 years the way life about to be for me i understand that i went through all this and i'm still here for a reason because 
A lot of these dudes probably got more money, fame, clout, however you want to put it, music bigger, fresher cars, more girls, all that than me right now. But what they don't got is a story that's going to matter in 10 damn years. Nigga, I done been through enough to get 50 Cent on the line and really make a movie. Mm. You, definitely, you definitely could. Have you thought about that? Yeah, but man, shit like that be a dream to me. Oh, and I don't live my life all dreams. Dream. What do you mean a dream? Like, what I'm saying is, shit like that is going, dreams get sold to you. A nigga can't afford them shits. Yeah, but what you've been through is so, it's so, it's dominated the headlines. It's been so much a part of what everybody's talking about. That's easy. You know, I, I think when I think about that, I think a movie definitely is coming. But I always I, I worry about you and your well being. I worry about how you've gotten past if some of these things. A movie do come. Let me act it out, Fifty Dan. Oh, you, you want to be in it? Nobody gonna do it better than me. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna be more heartfelt. No, no, I don't know if that was your relative in there. I, I, I seen a, I seen a young Quando in there, man. Yeah, we can have a young Quando. But shit, when they get the big Quando, we physically be there because I know. That's that's the day, the the day a nigga really speak on and really sit down without dodging and telling what the fuck really going on when is about that gonna a be? lot of situations. It gotta be a movie. What is that gonna be? And hold on, hold on, listen. And I know what everybody want to see, and it ain't even just from the situation. It's just with people who watch movies. Period. You know what they want to see. They want to vividly see shit from A to B to C to D. To they want to e. see all the way to Z. You're right. So, yeah, this movie got to be every step. They want to see motherfuckers crash out, you hear me? Until everybody dead or in jail and gone, then they just going to call everybody stupid, you hear me? After that, hey, what you said, where's the Benny Siegel? So, nigga, 90s, most shit is. 95% communication nonverbal. Yeah, 95, 95, 95% of communication is nonverbal. Nigga, if I look at you and mug you right now, I ain't have to say nothing to you physically. You know, like, I, I don't fuck with you. So shit, that's all the way true. So with that being said, and they got to dip after this, but... With that being said, <laughs> I don't have to gotta dip like five times. Yeah. Talk no more, cause it's getting played out in the movie. This is going on. Hey. I hope that eventually happens, yo. Listen, um, you're just kind of wrapping up here, yo. I appreciate you. You know, I know you're on a, a journey. Listen, trust me. I, I could read between the lines and I could hear between even what we say. I know there's a lot more, but we we gonna save that for the movie. Uh, what you did say, you did say, and um, you know, again. I'm saying what you did. No, 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 no. Well, I'm did saying that because say, I still don't think you're over here on a civilian gang. Because trust me, if you you keeping it a lot more street than a lot of other niggas, I'm gonna keep it up being with you. The the way you've held shit down, niggas like in here today. No, period. <laughs> with everything that going on and the way you held it down, you ain't never. We ain't never look at you to be like, oh, okay, this nigga is, he bought a fold, he bought whatever. You know why? You stepped away and you say, yo, I'm good. You but you ain't why? never, you ain't never point a finger, you, you ain't never explain though? shit. You know why? Because that's. <laughs> that nigga act silly. You know the reason I still got a foot in the, in the rock game? Because talent, first of all, is fact. Rondo can rap tribe outside all this bullshit. I'm just keeping the G. I've been a fan of Rondo. I've been a fan of Dirk them and all this shit since they was young. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been tapped in with them boys before all this shit. Fan of King Von, all this shit. Quando can rap, man. If y'all ain't heard his music be outside of all the BS, he can rap tribe. Conscious music too. Second of all, cause I stand on my fucking morals. As long as you stand on your morals and shit, what you got. Morals should be at the top of your life. And long as you standing on that, your life, it's like this the morals and it's like a ventilator, like a tornado or something. It's like the morals got the fan in it and you got to stand on that for <laughs> the fan. Act, look at you, I constantly at the keep going. And the fan that's going, keeping life going how it's supposed to go. As soon as you cross one of the morals, fan turned off. 
I think we get it on that, man. Listen, Quando Rondo here for a reason. I you know what I mean? Life it. goes on, my boy. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for uh, thank you for inviting me out to uh, Savannah, Georgia, and I appreciate you, man. We gonna be great. That was a W interview, Tribe. Whether y'all hate him or love him, Tribe, to keep it G, man. I know he talked kind of, I'm going to call it hood phonics. But, man, he was talking some stuff right there, man. You hear me? Like, I got to give him his props to that. He basically saying, like, he don't even really want to talk about that no more, man. If you know, you know. When you've been through so much in your real life, like, the internet just don't know what they know. But, basically, what I'm getting from him is, bro, I done been through so much in my life. There's just a small part of it. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, LaPal. Rest in peace, King Von. Free Lil Dirt. Keep Quando free. And man, for real, I was watching this live, like I said, and you could see it. You could see the comments as we watching this right now. Y'all can't see it, but I can see it on my other screen. And they saying slide for pal, slide for pal. Same thing they were saying, slide for vine. I know they trolling me. You hear me? Because the moment that man go quote unquote slide for pal, and it's official and it's proven, he's a dummy. You feel what I'm saying? But W interview act, man. W interview Quan though. He handled it the way he was supposed to. I'm gonna catch y'all next time. That I spend, I know I see my nigga dead. They laughed at me and made a joke, but never seen it.